By the end of this following lesson, you will learn how to catch so-called Stripe webhooks, uh, which means that on successful subscription charge, the webhook will be registered in Stripe, charge succeeded. In, in our database, we will save the event of successful payment. Let's go. Let's talk about Stripe webhooks. And it seems like a difficult term, something totally new and complex. And it may be, but in short term, it's any event that's, that happens in Stripe, which is sent to your application. So whatever happens in Stripe, charge succeeded, charge failed, a new invoice generated, new customer succeeded, some credit card fail update, anything. There are a lot of events. Stripe will notify your server without you even uh, requesting anything that something happened. And then uh, in your application, your goal is to process that event from Stripe and Stripe will send you the data and then you do whatever you want uh, in your system. So basically you have to have a URL uh, to accept the webhook and then in that URL you process that. So that's in a simple term. Uh, and part of that, it won't be easy or it won't be possible to test on your local host, in your local server, whether it's Homestead or MAMP or Belay or whatever you use. Uh, you should have that application somewhere in the cloud uh, on some server and then uh, pass that URL to Stripe. Of course, there are alternatives. There are kind of fake things. You can fake uh, the local URL, attach that to something. Uh, one of the solutions is ngrok, and we've used that before. But if, for this course, for the simplicity of this, I've uploaded my uh, the same thing that we're creating to our staging server. So the URL will be test as, and it's not anymore on my local server. It's in the cloud, and we will create a webhook in Stripe dashboard to exactly that URL. So webhooks are in developers webhooks and you want to add an endpoint. It's called an endpoint URL. And we will have test sas laravel daily com slash whatever you want. So that's for you to decide. Stripe webhook and then we will create that route in our routes web file. So version of API, for example, let it be the latest API version and then you can choose the events to send. And there are, as I said, hundreds of events. Uh, but for now, let's focus on one particular event, which is charge succeeded, uh, which means that the person was successfully charged. And the usage of that would be, we will create a payment in our own local database. So in order to have some reporting, for example, amount of revenue per month or some uh, more popular services plans or more uh, like customer who paid the most money, any of that, you won't query the Stripe API for all of that. So you have to have something in your local database, right? So whenever successful charge happens in Stripe, we will catch the webhook and insert the data in our local database. So we add an endpoint. It asks for my Stripe password. Okay, and we do have that enabled. And now let's get back to our local code, how to process the webhooks. And if we look at Stripe uh, Laravel Cashier documentation, there is a section of handling Stripe webhooks. And there are certain events to be handled. Uh, you also have to process the verification, uh, take care of CSRF protection, and define the events. But instead of all of that, I would like to suggest another package which does that in a really short way and brilliantly. It's by company, the famous company Spati. It's called Laravel Stripe Webhooks. So we will install that, configure that, and catch the webhook. Okay, behind the scenes, I've installed the package. So I've run this and published the vendor. And next thing is configuration. The main thing we need to uh, identify the Stripe uh, by this Stripe webhook secret. And we will get that from dashboard, from uh, webhook dashboard, this one. I won't click it now, but you would need to click it, copy and paste that into your .env file. And I will do that on the, on the staging server behind the scenes. Next thing is to assign a job to Stripe webhooks configuration. Here in this array, you would specify the list of jobs that needed to be run on any event. So in our case, we would have a charge succeeded event assigned to some job. And for now, let's generate a job which would be empty for now. So artisan make 
job and let's put it in a folder stripe webhooks charge succeeded job right it's an empty job for now but now we can assign that to the jobs let's go to our stripe webhooks and let's add charge succeeded and any event uh, with a dot becomes underscore here type dot replaced by underscore and we can do charge succeeded job and PHP storm will help to auto complete that so this is specified as well and then in charge succeeded job we will process the webhook a few more things we need to do with uh, Laravel stripe package we need to publish the migrations so migration and then do artisan migrate so it would generate webhook calls table and it will kind of be a log of everything that happens and also we need to create this route stripe webhooks so instead of just simple route get or route post it will have one stripe webhook for everything so in our routes web php we add stripe webhooks and it needs to be public because we don't have auth stripe is, uh, is not sending the authenticated user to us stripe webhook and it's just the url stripe webhook and it should be the same that we configured in the stripe dashboard here stri stripe webhook so this and then probably final thing we need to do the exception for that route to not check for csrf token and in our verify csrf token middleware which is default in laravel we need to add here stripe webhook okay now finally let's create something useful so before in this video it was all configuration and installation right and this is an example of a real job by stripe webhooks package so let's copy and paste that and let's implement some of that so actually what we need here is this on top of typical job we will have this webhook call this private variable but then we have this as a parameter actually we can copy and paste these two and I think PHP storm doesn't throw any errors doesn't underline anything suspicious so then we can use this webhook call payload what is a payload so this part is actually missing from the stripe or spotty documentation but I've debugged it and saw that what we actually need is this right here so payload is an array of data and then inside of that there is an object so let's create a payment uh, model and database table to save our payments to do that we do make model payment with migration and what fields do we have there do we need there so let's go to database migrations payments table so big increments let it be this way so user id right so any payment should be associated with uh, user id unsigned big integer user id uh yeah it's, it should not be knowable then it should be a foreign key so table foreign key user id which references id field sorry on users on users table right then we need to have a string of a stripe id so basically event id of that uh, charge in our case and let's save uh, money amounts of uh, subtotal tax default zero and total amount for now we didn't do anything with taxes but maybe in the future we will so subtotal and total should be the same roughly and that's it let's make it all fillable now so in our payment model let's add those as fillable so user id stripe id subtotal tax and total 
okay and now inside of our job we can do this payment create and then we have an array so user ID would be user ID we will get to that in a second how to query the user then we have subtotal which would be charge amount also taxes we will get actually let's skip the taxes for now and let's make the same amount so charge amount will be both subtotal and total and tax will default to zero now how do we get user user is queried from the database by this field so customer id or in our case stripe id and we need to do where so user where stripe id equals charge customer again i've debugged that myself uh, that structure isn't public anywhere you just need to read that so first and then if the user is found if user then we create the payment and that's it let's try it together i will upload that now via github to the staging server and launch the webhook so i've registered a new user let's create subscription test january for example and what should happen in stripe is customer create charge created and charge succeeded i think that's the sequence of the events in our case subscribe successfully now let's go to stripe dashboard and let's see what actually happened so here we are in stripe dashboard and i see webhook attempts as failed it failed but that will be actually a useful exercise for us let's open it up and see what failed 500 internal server error uh, and that should be handled in the future like try catch and notifying slack bugsnack whatever tool you use for notifying the bugs but now what is the reason i've ssh to the server now open laravel log and the error is stripe id doesn't have a default value so we didn't specify stripe id in here so here we should have stripe id equals charge something now what is that something inside of that webhook log on dashboard you could see exactly what was the payload what was the object so here you can see amount as i said then there is a customer customer here uh, and what we needed to save was id uh, charge id but just out of curiosity you can see what else is passed on quite a lot including the card details including some more statuses which we don't actually use but it's full of data so what we need to do here is get charge id into our job and let's retry i've registered as another new user fill in the credit card details and let's click pay and fingers crossed <laughs> it succeeds now okay no error here let's refresh our dashboard and now we have succeeded webhook succeeded means 200 okay and main thing let's get to our database and see what is inside of there there we go as you can see we have a new record inside of payments table reference to new user id stripe id comes from stripe webhook amount of, of integer so 9.99 in cents in subtotal and total and that's it for this long lesson so now we know how stripe webhooks work and we experimented on charge succeed event